Hello guys, we Fanatic here and today we'll be uh, doing an upgrade of uh, ESXi 6.0 to the ESXi um, 6.5 which has just been announced by VMware. So this is the beta build. So it's 6.5 release build is 4240471 and uh, what I've done is I've actually just booted off the ISO image. Now ESXi installs for the better part has uh, remained unchanged from previous versions. So whether you're doing an upgrade from 5.5 to a 6.0 or a 6.0 to 6.5, uh, most of the options have not actually changed. Now 6.5 is a major release for VMware in, in, in terms that there are a lot of additional features which have come in. And uh, I will be talking about the new features on the 6.5 release in the coming videos. This particular video is just going to be about the upgrade experience. Now, um, while it is booting, while, while the ESXi is actually booting from the ISO image, um, if you look at the screen itself, you'll see that there are a couple of new services which uh, you'll be seeing and hence you'll be seeing a couple of um, different services which are actually loading up so which are not present in uh, in, in the 6.0 release so it's taking its time on the nfs client loading now, as per uh, the previous upgrades, so even on the 6.5, if you do want to see what's happening in the background, in that case, you can press the Alt plus F12 key on the keyboard, and that um, that will actually bring up the log, so you can check which services is loading, etc. Okay. So this is the uh, first screen wherein it tells you which version you're going to be installing on. Just accept that, hit F11. So this is the EULA which you'll need to read through. So after reading that, just hit on um, F11 for the installation to begin. As usual, it's scanning for all of the devices which uh, the ESX has. Now, this, it's a 100 GB partition which I've just been, um, which I've installed with ESXi. That's what it's showing. If, of course, if you have VMA Vs and if any volumes are, VMA Vs have volumes, um, that will actually show up here as well. So I'm just choosing the VMFS partition and uh, I'm just hitting on uh, enter. So the three options as usual, one is upgrade ESXi, preserve VMFS data store, that's what we want. Install ESXi, preserve VMFS data store. Install ESXi, override VMFS data store. So an upgrade is what we're looking at. So uh, if you do an upgrade, in that case, the settings are preserved. And the virtual machines are um, are actually untouched. So here it says uh, I'm going to be upgrading the system from 6.0 to 6.5. I'll just hit enter and it's doing the upgrade now. So in terms of the ease of install or um, in terms of the options which are available during install, nothing has changed. So if you're familiar with the 5.1 to 6.0 or the 5.1 to 5.5 and uh, 5.5 to 6.0 install, in that case, this is pretty straightforward. So nothing has changed. All the options are the same. Now, what I have seen, I've actually done a couple of fresh installs, a couple of upgrades um, till now. And what I have seen is with this particular build especially, it takes a very long time on a couple of places for ESXi to actually load up. One is this 24%. Um, and also during the ESXi boot, after installation, when you boot ESXi for the first time, um, you'll see that it gets stuck at USB 0, loading USB 0 devices. So it's actually getting stuck there for close to about three to five minutes on, on my install. So depending upon which hardware you're running on and whether that's a physical machine or a virtual you're running ESXi on, uh, the amount of time taken might differ, but that's what's actually seen on my install. So here, if you can see 24%, it's, it's stuck at 24% for quite a while now. So 
So if you've, if you've actually worked on um, the ESXi 5.5, 5.1 .5 days, you remember that there was a there was an issue with enumerating uh, CD-ROM devices uh, that used to take about 15 to 30 minutes. It used to just enumerate the CD-ROM devices and um, it used to basically just get stuck there. Um, here I'm not sure as to what is the cause for the delay. Uh, but once the install is, is is actually finished and I have more time to play with this. So I'll be doing a couple more installs, ESXi fresh installs, 6.5. And also I'll be trying it on different hardware. This, of course, is in a virtual machine. Um, but uh, what I have is a couple of physical machines which I can try the install on and see if anything actually differs. So anytime now, we'll be seeing that um, it actually progresses through. But the amount of time it's, it's it actually takes just waiting, sitting there at 24% suddenly is a cause for concern. Now, this is not only during the upgrade. This is also during, it, uh, during the uh, reboot. So um, post-installation, if you do, um, if you basically just do a reboot of um, the ESXi hypervisor, and uh, if you hit the Alt and the F12 key on the keyboard, you'll see that around about the time wherein it tries to uh, query the USB 0 devices, or just after that, in fact. So it takes approximately the same time. It just sits on the install screen, or rather the, the, the boot screen, for about 5 to 10 minutes. And uh, then the install just, uh, I mean, then the reboot actually, or rather, then the boot process actually kicks off again. So I'm not sure if it is only on this particular build. Maybe on the release build, uh, things would change. Uh, but on this particular build, suddenly this, this is concerning. So while we're waiting for this to actually um, progress, uh, the amount of changes which ESXi has, ESXi, so there have been changes in um, in the encryption. So now you can actually encrypt um, the boot files uh, or rather the boot process can be encrypted. Virtual machine en encryption has actually come in. You also have vMotion virtual machine encryption. So um, you basically can uh, can actually encrypt the traffic um, during the uh, vMotion process itself. So that's that's an improvement. In terms of the other improvement um, in the uh, virtual center, so there have been major changes in terms of the ease of install and the ease of migration from a Windows, uh, Windows virtual center to the Linux-based appliance. So with th those I'll be talking in, um, in, in detail uh, in a later video. And there also has been improvements in the um, in the web client. So HTML5 support is finally here. You also have the HTML5 uh, browser, or rather the HTML5 client, the host-based uh, client. And um, I, I'm told that the vSphere um, web client for the HTML5, um, the the HTML5 full-fledged release. Is round about the corner, so maybe in the next release or something, we should be having the HTML based client. Right now, it's again is based upon. Um, it, it actually uses Adobe Flash in the background still, but uh, I, I believe that there is work underway as per the release notes. Uh, there is work underway to get the full fledged version. So here you can see that install has finished, and I'm just going to be hitting enter to go ahead and reboot the system. So this was just a quick video on the actual install or the upgrade from 6.5 to, um, I mean 6.0 to 6.5. And I will be making um, other videos shortly based upon the new feature sets which have actually come in. 
and a full-fledged video on the new features on VC and ESXi. Stay tuned for that. Thank you.